Okay, so welcome back to your EVS class. Okay, so last two chapters you have done, and today we are going to start your third chapter, that is chapter number four, clocks. Okay, so what you have to do first, you have to take out your book, you take out your pencil, eraser, and open your book. So take out your book and take out your chapter four. So you have taken out, okay. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so before starting the chapter, here some activities are there like crossword puzzles. We have to solve this one first. You see, read the clues and solve the crossword here across and down. This is across, and these are all down. Total six are there. So, first question you see. We usually wear this in winter. So, during winter, generally what we wear, which will be the answer, this one. See the pictures and you can write the answers yourself also. Coat. C O A T. You write C is written O A T. Okay. Next. Little girls wear this. What the little girls wear? You see the pictures. Which one will be the answer? This one. F is already written. R O C K. Frock. Little girls wear frock. Next. Papa wears this to the office. While going to your to office, what your papa wears? Shirt. S H I R T. Shirt. Written. Next. Now across. This three are across. Now down answers will write. It is down. You wear this at school. What you wear at school? While well, going to school, what you wear? Uniform. U N I F O R M. Uniform. Many of us wear this. Number two, jeans. Everyone wear no jeans. It may be boy or girl. Everyone is wearing jeans. J E A N S. We wear this inside the shoes. Before wearing shoes, what do we wear? We wear socks. S O C K S. Socks. Okay. Done. Now we will now come to the chapter. We will start. Okay. So follow the lines properly. Okay. Clothes are one of our basic needs, just like food and water. We wear clothes to cover our body and to protect it from rain, heat, cold, mosquitoes, etc. So clothes, it is one of the basic needs. Just like without food, without water, we cannot stay. Without clothes, also we cannot stay. It basic means regular needs, important. So, and why do we wear clothes? We wear clothes to protect our body, to cover our body, to protect it from rain, it may be hot, heat, cold, mosquitoes, to protect it. Okay, now clothes are of different types. Some clothes are there which we wear in summer, during winter different cloth, during rainy season different cloth. So, here we will read some different types of clothes. Clothes worn in summer. We wear cotton cloths in summer. Cotton cloths help to keep our body cool. So during summer what type of cloths we wear? During summer we wear cotton cloths. Because cotton cloths are very light. It keeps our body cool. That's why we wear cotton cloths. Here some pictures are given. These all are cotton cloths. Shirt, frock, skirt, pants, shorts. These all are cotton cloths which we wear during summer. Now turn the page. Next you see Venki lives in Chennai. It is always hot there. That is why he mostly wears cotton cloths. So Venki is the name of a boy and where he lives he lives in Chennai and Chennai is a very hot place. That's why Always Venki wears cotton cloths to keep his body cool. 
we get cotton from cotton plants cotton thus obtained is spun into yarns clothes are then made from this yarns so where from we get the cotton we get cotton from cotton plants see here the picture is given in this picture it is nicely described first cotton plant from cotton plant we are getting cotton but this cotton we can directly wear no from this cotton yarns are made yarn means thread you have seen no thread in your home thread from cotton different different types of colorful threads are made from that yarns then cloths are made so cotton we get from cotton plant clear next come to the next topic cloths worn in winter we wear woolen cloths to protect ourselves from the cold weather during winter season what type of cloths we wear we wear woolen cloths so that our means to protect ourselves from cold weather we wear woolen cloths these are all the woolen cloths this is pullover that is sweater muffler gloves cardigan cap these all we all all the people wear during winter to protect ourselves from cold weather next now where from we get wool wool is used to make woolen cloths so by what we make the woolen cloths woolen cloths are made up of wool now where from we are getting wool we get wool mainly from sheep mainly which animal gives us wool sheep gives us wool but some other animals also there some other animals that provide us wool are rabbit goat and yak so not only sheep some other animals also there which provide us wool so sheep rabbit goat yak these animals gives us wool and by wool woolen cloths are made clear next next one more type of cloths is just silk cloths we are wearing no have you seen a silk so where from we are getting silk silk cloths are quite common silk is obtained from silkworms it's a insect see this is a in silkworm in the leaves this small insect is there from this insects from silkworm we are getting silk yarn that is thread then silk cloths are made next to come to the next topic cloths worn in rainy season now during rainy season what type of cloths we wear cloths that protect us from the rain are collectively called rain wear so the type of cloths which protect our body from the rain that cloths are known as rain wear so this include rain coat jacket rain pants etc so what are the rain wear which which items rain coat jacket rain pants these all are known as rain wear because we wear this only during rainy season other days we are not wearing rain wear is made of waterproof materials such as rubber and plastic so by what rain wears are made rain wear is made up of waterproof otherwise water will go inside so it's made up of rubber and plastic okay we also wear gumboots to protect ourselves from the rain we also wear gumboots in our foot so that to protect ourselves from the rain so these are some of the rain wear items rain coat jacket rain pants gumboots okay clear next come to the next one next topic is you see uniform a uh, uniform is a special type of clothing worn by all the members of a group like school children policemen etc so uniform it's a special type of cloth and generally it is worn by some group of members some group of members doing a particular work they are wearing uniform like so that we can identify them while well, you see first the students all the students are wearing uniform and whenever you will wear uniform easily anyone can find out yes you are a student that's why you are wearing a uniform 
same some other uniforms also there like soldiers if we see a soldier and a normal person easily we can differentiate how because soldiers are wearing uniform then nurse they are also wearing uniform policeman fireman these people wear uniform so that we can identify them easily Okay, we, they no need to tell us okay, that yes, I am a policeman because by their uniform we can find out yes, he is a policeman, or he is a soldier, she is a nurse, or he is he or she is a student. We can find out by their uniform, by their dress. Next, regional clothes. Regional means each state has their particular dress code. All the states are having particular dress. So regional means own means dress. People from different regions of India wear different type of clothes. All the states are having their own different types of clothes, different dress code. Here some few examples are given. This is the dress code of Jammu and Kashmir. Next one, Mizoram, Punjab, Rajasthan, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu. Like in Assam, which is our regional clothes, Mekla Chadar. Same, all the states are having their own clothes. So not only states, countries are also having, you see, people from different parts of the world also wear different types of clothes. Like African, Africa people, African people are wearing this type of cloth. This is the dress code of Africa. Next one, Japan. Japanese people are wearing this uniform, this dress. Dubai, this dress. So not only the states, countries are also having their own dress codes okay here you see what are they called in this box some clothes have special names okay clothes are having different names also like in Assam which the Assamese people are wearing that is called Mekla Chadar no different dress are there like for example long kurtas worn by Kashmiris are called Ferans and the traditional Japanese dress is called Kimono this Japanese dress is known as kimono. Okay, and what the Kashmiris are wearing? Long kurta, they are known as ferans. Okay, they have their particular names also. Next, make it a habit. Here are some habits are there which we should include in our daily life. Always wear clean clothes. Always all the people we should wear clean clothes. Dirty clothes we should not wear. Avoid staining your clothes. We should not stain means, it, suppose while eating, some your food is fallen in your dress, it leaves a mark, no, that is called stain. While eating, while playing, while running, you should be careful, so that you, your cloth should not get stained. Wear clothes that fit you properly, you should wear the cloth which fits your body properly. Donate clothes to the needy or poor, once you outgrow them. Suppose you are wearing a dress for a long time and you will not wear that dress again. So what you should do? You should not throw the dress. You should donate that cloth to the needy or the poor one. Those who are poor people, those who are needy people, those who need that cloth, you should donate that. Okay? So I hope you have understood this chapter and go through this video once more. Okay? So you will clear all your doubts. Alright? And first two chapters also keep on revising. Alright? So, hope you have understood this chapter. Okay? So, thank you and stay safe.